Hey guys, it's Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus and welcome to a rigging tutorial. In this video, we are going to cover how to do a very simple rig on this little toy dinosaur so then we can make him dance or act or whatever we like. If you're new to this channel, I post 3D tutorials on a weekly basis. I cover software such as Maya, ZBrush, Substance Painter and so much more. So if that is your sort of thing, please consider subscribing. So bring out your creativity, open up your software and let's get rigging. For you guys that are new to this video, if you want to model this little dinosaur, you can also UV map him, we textured him, and we also gave him fur. So if that's your sort of thing, take a look at the previous tutorials. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to hide these little guys, and I really don't need this. So we're going to start off with this cute little dinosaur. All right. Now, when it comes to rigging, I'm going to hide this as well. The important thing is that this character is facing Z. So you'll notice that he's not facing Z, he's actually facing a different direction. So let me go ahead and do, move him forward. And I also want to make sure that he is aligned somewhere in the middle. Now he's not exactly perfectly aligned, so I'm just going to have to deal with that. Um, but it is important to try to get, get him to be, I'm going to slightly rotate him. Um, so that he's actually lined up relatively in the middle of the origin. This is going to help us when we rig because we want to create one side of joints and then we can create another. Uh, easily. All right, let me bring back the arms. And another thing you could probably do is maybe label these. So I'm gonna, what the heck was that? Uh, I'm gonna do left arm geo. This one is the, so give me a second while I go ahead and relabel this. All right, now that this is aligned and labeled, let's take a look at it in this view, make sure everything's looking good. And I think we're ready to start rigging. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is go to the front view and I'm going to go to rigging and we are going to go to skeleton, create joints. I'm going to go to the options and just double check that the short radius and the long radius are the same. And I'm going to go in here and just kind of give them a couple of joints. Actually, let's go to the side. And if you click on this guy right here, this will make a transparency for the joints. So the first thing I'm going to do is hold on shift and I'm going to give him a spine. Um, the more joints that this, this object has, the more flexible it's going to be. So just keep that in mind. I'm also trying to keep them a little bit even. Well, let's just go with something simple. All right. So if you want to move a joint and actually let me click on this so I can't select a geometry, uh, you can just select it here. But if you grab this one, it will move the other one. So just click on the letter D and move it up. By the way, I am going to go a little bit fast in this video. I have introduction to of rigging tutorials um, earlier, so I highly recommend that you check those out because I just want to do this really fast. Okay, so I have my joints there. And is anything else, I'm going to go ahead and label them. So let's select them and go to modify, search, and re replace. So I'm going to replace joint with spine and replace. So there we go. All right, great. Next, we probably want to create some arms. So let's create more joints. I'm going to do it pretty simple. Just two joints. Press enter when you're done. This is going to be my arm. Uh, let's call this my left arm joint. And then joint one. Oh boy, maybe spell it correctly. Press enter. And this is going to be joint two. All right, great. Let's move on to the head. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to grab the joints and I'm just going to be placing them at this time and then we will go from there. All right, so this is going to be the head joint and head joint two. Let's create one joint, which is going to be right at the pelvis. This is going to be the root joint. And now we're going to create the legs. Oop, make sure you deselect that joint and create the legs. So this is going to be the left joint and left joint leg two. Okay, cool. Let's make sure everything is in the body, which clearly it is not. So let's go ahead and again, click on this. We're gonna start moving things into place. So grab it here and then slightly rotate it. So it's actually in the geometry. This is going to be very important. And let's take a look at the legs look okay. And they're, all right, everything looks good. All right. What we're going to do is mirror them to the other side. So I'm going to select this one and there's a skeleton mirror joints and let's go to the options. And what I want to choose is instead of L underscore, replace it with R underscore. Apply. 
and that was not correct so let me undo that and let me go ahead and grab the YZ and there we go um, my geometry is not perfect so I'm gonna have to compensate for that so again just go ahead and rotate it until you're happy in its location I do recommend that the joint is a little bit more closer to the tip especially the end joint all right we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna grab this one and apply that one looks pretty good but just double check and let's start parenting so what I'm gonna do is select the head joint here shift select the top of the spine and click P which is gonna parent it and I'm gonna do the same thing for this one for the arm so grab the arm and then shift select the top joint click P select that one shift select the other one make sure you select the right one P for parents we're gonna take the root joint and select this the spine joint and click P then click this one shift click this one the root joint click P and then do the same for this one so what's gonna happen is that when I grab the root joint the whole thing moves all right cool next is gonna be the tail so let's go ahead and go to the side view and we're just gonna add some bones Something like that and again let's go ahead and click on the letter P and there we go all right we made some movements oops let's select these joints actually before I forget and let's see this is the tail joint all right let's go ahead and grab these guys and go to modify search and replace and we're replacing joint with tail there we go all right so everything should be labeled hopefully spelled correctly and we basically have the fundamentals of the joints now if you guys want to test it you can you want to select the all of the joints so this is you want to grab the root joint and actually I think I messed up let me unparent shift P to unparent this and the tail should be connected to the spine but I went and selected it incorrectly so what we want to do is select the spine joint then shift select this joint and click on the letter P and the root joint is incorrect as well so what I want to do is make sure that the root joint so I'm pressing shift P I want the spine so I'm gonna middle mouse and drag the spine to the root joint so whenever I selected root joint it selects a spine and then I'm gonna grab the tail and make sure that that follows spine one and that is correct there we go so whatever happens to the root joint is the one that moves everything and then we have all the spines and so on and so forth all right so just double check the root joint is should be at the top of the chain then we have the legs then we have the spine the spine has the tail it also has all the other spines plus the head and the arms so hopefully that was clear next we're going to create some uh, curves so over here under curves we can create a circle and this is going to be our world okay control vertex make your selection and just gonna okay so now we're selecting joints so let me go back into object mode let me turn off joints here and let's try that again right click control vertex and I'm just gonna adjust it and maybe even scale it so that it fits the world or the dinosaur so this is gonna be but notice where the pivot is the pivot point is right there so I'm gonna call this my um, dino main control next we're gonna create another circle and this one is going to be our pelvis so I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that this one's the one at the root so I'm gonna V middle mouse and snap until it hits the root and I can scale it but if you want to make any alterations to it uh, you want to right click on it control vertices and let's say I want to just kind of make this a little bit more unique so that it doesn't look the same and let me go to the top view I'm gonna grab these guys and just kind of scale out or scale in then I can scale this again oops let me go to object mode deselect select it again and scale so at least this makes it look a little bit different than the other controllers 
All right, so this is going to be the root control. All right, that is how we create the joints for our dinosaur. They're all placed in the correct location. Everything is inside the mesh. The next part is going to be to create the controllers and then go ahead and start skinning. Hopefully you guys found this helpful. Let me know by leaving a comment below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And if you feel that somebody could find this helpful, please share my videos. That would be amazing. Take a look at academicphoenixplus.com for free 3D models and so much more. And there's also e-courses. So if you're interested in diving really deep into modeling and texturing, take a look at those e-courses. Thank you again for watching and spending time with me. Keep creating and I will see you next time.